a military helicopter capable of delivering U.S. Army soldiers to the hottest spots around the world at speeds exceeding those of the legendary Black Hawk. Very soon, the new joint creation of Sikorsky and Boeing will be revealed to the general public. We're talking about the Defiant X, a multi-purpose combat helicopter with very high hopes behind it. What does the mysterious X mean? Will it be able to compete with other aircraft of the future? And why will existing helicopters envy its maneuverability? Let's get straight to it. Looking at the pace of development of military technology, even hardened skeptics are unlikely to have any illusions that the war of the future will look the same as modern warfare. But aviation, which plays a key role in any conflict, will still remain in play, only improving its already amazing capabilities. Today, one of the main U.S. Army programs related to military aviation is FLRAA, Future Long Range Assault Aircraft. Military Command initiated it in 2019, seeking to create a worthy successor to the mighty combat unit of the U.S. fleet, the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk, developed back in the early 1970s and carrying democracy forward since 1979. FLRAA is also part of the larger FVL, Future Vertical Lift Project, to develop a family of military helicopters for the U.S. Armed Forces and a neighbor to the FARA, Future Attack Recognizance Aircraft Program, launched in 2018 to create a successor to the Bell OH-58 Kiowa Recognizance Helicopter. Sikorsky Boeing Defiant X, also SB-1 or S-100, is not just a helicopter, but a whole multi-purpose air assault weapon system capable of reaching high speed, flying at low altitude, landing quickly, and delivering soldiers to a specific target area called the X, and then leave the combat zone with lightning speed, hiding from the enemy even in the most difficult terrain, thus minimizing the risk, both for the fighters and for the aircraft itself. Sikorsky and Boeing, who have repeatedly collaborated in the field of the latest aviation technologies, firmly decided to create a revolutionary device designed to become the fastest, most maneuverable, and most survivable attack helicopter in the history of aviation. Remember, there's also their promising reconnaissance and attack helicopter RAH-66 Comanche with a reduced radar cross-section. The main forerunner of the Defiant X can be considered the experimental model Sikorsky X-2 with coaxial rotors, which made its first flight back in 2008 and, after a series of successful tests, was decommissioned in 2011. X-2 technology has provided truly impressive machine speed, agility, and scalability. The engineers were able to significantly reduce the level of vibration in the device, increasing its efficiency due to new, specially designed blades that have a higher lift-to-drag ratio than the blades of the propellers used in modern helicopters. They also seasoned all this superiority with a pinch of fly-by-wire. Even then, many experts had noted the success of Sikorsky, and its offspring had received the well-deserved Robert J. Collier Trophy from the National Aeronautic Association for demonstrating a revolutionary helicopter with a speed of 250 knots, which marks the starting point for future development of helicopters by significantly increasing their speed, maneuverability, and utility. In 2011, the American Helicopter Society honored the project with another award, the Howard Hughes Award. The medium-lip prototype SB-1 Defiant made its maiden flight in March 2019 and was successfully approved for further development by the U.S. Army, marking the end of the first phase of testing conducted under strict guidance by Sikorsky. Boeing, in turn, led the second phase of testing, verifying the capabilities of the prototype during the execution of the missions assigned to it. By December 2020, the prototype had logged more than 26 hours of flight time on 31 different flights in the 21 months since its first flight, already surpassing the Experimental X-2, which had flown 23 tests in a lifetime of about 22 hours. In January of 2021, the consortium announced the Defiant X variant, and by February, the Sikorsky Boeing team announced their chosen engine for their future helicopter, the latest HTS-7500 engine from Honeywell which is a derivative of the T-55. By the way, two of these beautiful T-55 714As previously powered the SB-1 prototype. Generally speaking, Honeywell engines have been installed on Army helicopters, including legends such as the CH-47 for over 60 years. 
Project participants, also including Swift Engineering, which is responsible for the main part of the helicopter airframe structure, manufactured at the company's facility in San Clemente, California, as well as Collins Aerospace, which provides all three landing platforms for testing Sikorsky Boeing vehicles and the Paragon Flight Control System. Aircraft designers tried to take only the best from previous projects, such as the X-2 and the S-97 Raider. The center of attention for engineers was the coaxial system, each of the two main rotors has four blades rotating in opposite directions, and the tail pusher propeller has eight blades versus six for the earlier Sikorsky X2. To understand why a coaxial system is better, consider a standard helicopter with a single main rotor and a tail rotor that compensates for torque. To be able to fly freely, such a helicopter needs a swash plate, a unit that cyclically changes the angle of attack of the blades to the right, left, front, and rear from the axis of rotation of the propeller. Since the speed of the blades on the advancing side of the rotor is summed up with the speed of the apparatus itself, during the translation movement of the helicopter, the blades move faster relative to the air than the blades on the opposite side, where the subtraction occurs. If this difference is not compensated by reducing the angle of attack of the blades on the advancing side, the helicopter will immediately roll over on its back. Consequently, in such an apparatus, when flying in a straight line, the lifting force on the blades on the right and left is the same, but on the advancing side it is much less than it could potentially be. In the case of the twin screw Defiant X, the same thing happens but separately for each rotor. If the pilot of such a helicopter wants to accelerate the device, he moves the control stick, after which the swash plate sets the angle of attack of the blades a little more at the rear and a little less at the front. The lift forces behind and in front also become different. The helicopter tilts its nose, and the propeller has a horizontal component from the lift force, which pushes the vehicle forward. This means that even in this case, the device does not use all the lift that its blades can create. As the speed increases, this problem only gets worse, because on the receding side of the rotor there is a section in which the absolute speed of the blades relative to the air becomes almost zero. That is, this section of the blades does not participate in the creation of lift. But in the Defiant X, each propeller blade at any given time creates the maximum lift available to it. And since the helicopter doesn't need to tilt for translational movement, the horizontal thrust doesn't depend on the lifting screw at all. The lifting screws on the blades of the retreating and advancing sides of one rotor are not compensated in such an apparatus. Instead, balancing takes place between the two rotors. Accordingly, on the advancing side, the blades generate maximum vertical thrust and the entire machine exhibits a high load capacity with a moderate screw diameter. And now we have here the previously mentioned specially designed blades of propellers, tested on the experimental X-2, and we get a vehicle whose maneuverability and speed some aircraft would certainly envy. With its rigid coaxial rotor system and pusher propeller, the Defiant X not only increases the combat radius by 60% and productivity by 50%, but will also be able to reach a top speed of up to 250 knots or 287.6 miles per hour while maintaining excellent handling at low speeds. This feature will provide the Army with increased maneuverability and survivability in the face of the threat of enemy air defense systems, allowing it to penetrate enemy defenses with minimal exposure to enemy fire. The outer contours of the Defiant X have a clear resemblance to the Raider X from Lockheed Martin, created on the basis of the S-97, and some design features may well indicate to us the stealth properties in the future device. For example, the chines on the nose of the helicopter and along the fuselage are more pointed than that of the SB-1 prototype or mixed-engine nacelles. Some military experts say that these chines could easily have gone to the Defiant X by inheritance from the previously unrealized RAH-66 Comanche stealth helicopter. Another clear difference from the SB-1 is the tricycle undercarriage of the craft. Replacing the Black Hawk style prototype configuration with two wheels on either side of the forward fuselage and a third under the tail boom. The new design was also complemented by a package of integrated fly-by-wire flight systems, combined with a high level of autonomy, ensuring safety and significantly reducing the workload for the crew during the difficult missions in adverse weather conditions. The Defiant X certainly had introduced some pleasant bonuses based on the experience of the Sikorsky team 
gained through collaboration with DARPA and the U.S. Army on the ALIAS, or Air Crew Labor and Cockpit Automation System, program, responsible for the development of automated systems that increase efficiency, overall performance, and guarantee an additional margin of safety. The Defiant X will be getting a larger and sleeker internal weapon bay with a discrete external configuration, but in design, it's still closely related to the size and shape of the Black Hawk. With the Black Hawk being 53.7 inches wide and the Defiant X 56.6 inches wide, the net difference is negligible. According to the companies, the similarity in dimensions was done intentionally to avoid rebuilding hangars and maintenance facilities for future helicopters. After all, no one had canceled spending in the form of additional time, energy, and most importantly, money to support the fleet. The futuristic helicopter can be loaded with cannons and missiles, stretchers for medical evacuation missions that roll out from a hidden internal compartment, or armed infantry to carry out a coordinated attack on the enemy. Let's not forget that in addition to its main purpose being its air assault function, the Defiant X is able to play the role of a universal fighter, daily performing many of the other tasks for the Army, one of which is extreme lift. This aspect of Sikorsky and Boeing has been openly demonstrated on their concepts more than once, where we could see a helicopter group with M777 howitzers suspended under the fuselage. In some testing done in 2021, the newest helicopter managed to lift 5,300 pounds, making it a sort of weightlifter in the group of modern rotorcraft. Delivery of howitzers by helicopter to high-altitude areas, where the use of certain armed vehicles is prohibited or impossible, would be an excellent way to arm Allied forces with additional firepower. Interestingly enough, after the extremely successful use of such howitzers by the Ukrainian army in the war against the Russian occupation forces, the United States and Britain began to consider the possibility of resuming production of the M777. Expanding the horizon of future possibilities almost to the limit, the Defiant X demonstrates excellent integration, not only with upgradable software and advanced remote control capabilities in the device, but it also doesn't require all the money in the world for its maintenance. In fact, within the framework of the FLRAA program, the cost of one unit shouldn't even exceed $43 million, while the outdated but no less legendary UH-60 cost the U.S. Army about $20 million. Who knows, maybe this particular helicopter, which is being prepared for release by 2030, will control a swarm of drones and become the pearl of the U.S. Air Fleet for the coming decades. Do you think the success of the Defiant X will one day outshine the Black Hawk? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.